Um, so what you're looking at here, this is actually a system in-house. So we're not looking at slides or anything like that. This is an actual team on system running. Um, and it's collecting information from some of our lab sites and things like that. So every alarm and, and flashing icon and any event that happens in here is is an actual event. It's just simulated in our lab. So um, everything you'll see is real equipment here. Um, and this view that we're looking at right here, this is basically our simplest at a glance view. Um, what it is that's designed um, around a graphical interface. So uh, rather than showing like a list or a grid of events, things like that, this actually shows you um, a top level view of California. Um, and you can okay. actually see here, if I, if I kind of scroll around here, you can see I've got a lot of locations that are green, right? So that basically means they're all clear, right? Nothing going on there. Uh, but you can see right away, I've got a couple locations that have some things going on. Um, I've got a location in the mountains, and then I've also got a Fresno location here. Um, so blinking basically is just designed to get your attention a little bit more. What that essentially means is you've got an event or an alarm there that nobody has actually acknowledged yet. And so that's where that blink kind of comes from. Um, and so I'll just show you how we can drill down into this location and see what's actually going on there. So um, everything, all these backgrounds and things are actually custom to this particular icon. And so if we drill all the way down, what we'll end up at is a view um, of our actual lab environment. And so this is, let me zoom in a little bit for you. This is an actual um, image of the a picture taken of our lab. So you can actually see you've got information um, okay. about this particular icon here. You've got, uh, this is actually a, an RTU in our lab called the Temp Defender. So it's a little bit smaller capacity than like an 832 or a G5 or something like that. Um, but it is accurately labeled here. You can see it, it's labeled. Um, you can see in our rack, we've got a couple of team on, a couple different versions. We've got an IP camera and so on. Um, so this view, what it's designed to do is it's designed to allow you to capture information in the team on system um, that otherwise you would have to kind of walk someone through or have someone that, you know, remembers what's at the location and remembers, oh, there's, you know, this particular alarm is coming from a device that's one, two, three, four, five, six rack units down and so on. Um, so this, so this is one of many sites that have images that are uploaded um, and so on. And so I'll okay. show you a show you a couple other examples of what have been done. Um, but if I was actually just going to this particular location, you can see some of the events that have been triggered. Um, this brings you to kind of a traditional view of a list of alarms now. So anyone looking at this, power lights, a couple of power lights turned on and off here. Um, you can kind of see that here. So the so, idea clearly would be associating some of these locations with their physical location if we're going to be somehow triggering based on the technician's current geolocation exactly exactly um so then i can actually go up um back to the, the top layer um and let me actually do this let me acknowledge this alarm just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like we'll go ahead and just hack these guys right here and you'll see right away um, we no longer have our fresno location blinking so if I actually went to the top layer view again, if somebody else was watching the screen, they saw that I had already acknowledged that alarm um, and so on. So because there's still outstanding alarms in this location, we still got a red dot there. Um, and so, but we did get rid of the flashing by acknowledging. But some of the kind of the basic functionality of, of what um, you're seeing here in this view. Now, okay. we also have traditional views um, we have traditional views and so on over here. So if you're not looking at the map and you just kind of want to get an idea of the different organizations um, and things that you've got set up here, this right here is kind of an at a glance view. It only shows your locations that have recent data. So things that have either come in recently or um, unacknowledged alarms and stuff like that. So for example, what do we got here? So our generators, we've got a generator running alarm that triggered and then Right away, we had a generator alarm associated with that as well. Um, so again, this is a different view, but it's just organizing your data based on certain categories, right? Um, we've also got organization based on severity. So you can see our major group here has that same generator alarm, the very major. 
Um, we've also got our critical view here, which shows you this is actually a device failure. So this is a device that has actually gone offline and triggered, um, basically cannot be communicated with kind of alarm, right? So different thing we're looking at there. Um, but essentially this view is the same view that we're seeing over here with the map. Key point is we're just organizing a little bit differently, right? Because sometimes when you got somebody who's like in a knock location or something like that, and they're viewing a system like the team on, um, for them, they might care more about um, geographically where something's located. Whereas if you have a tech or you have a profile that's only concerned with something like tower lights or your door entry or only your um, you know, generator related alarms and things like that, um, you can give them a view okay. where you just organize them. So um, that's kind of what we're looking at there. So any given alarm can be associated with multiple of those groupings. So you might see it in multiple spots if you're a if you're a generator guy or if you're a northwest region guy. If there's a generator alarm in the northwest region, you both like both those people would see it. So just to kind of show you some other things that have been done, um, I want to bring up just a couple other examples of. Um, some of the GFX screens that have been done. This one you'll recognize this is actually the New York City subway map. So if you've ever been on, if you ever go on a subway, you'll actually see this map kind of posted all over the place. Um, okay. Same idea here. Yeah, same idea here. Basically drill down. Um, but what's nice about this one is um, rather than using pictures, right, and uploading pictures of the location, um, this one actually has the graph, uh, like the the drawing of the equipment at this location. And so if you okay. actually look here, this net guardian right here is actually right behind this icon. So that is an actual net guardian HTC4 device. Um, there's a couple things we've done here. So um, kind of following the whole tradition of having everything in one spot, real easily accessible. Um, there's actually an RTU link right here. So if I double click on this, it'll actually take me to the RTU at that location. Uh, plus there's a couple other icons here that we can use, to, you know, drag onto certain pieces of equipment, assign alarms and things to them um, and stuff like that. So um, just again, another example of kind of how the GFX uh, has been designed before. I sometimes think pictures are more useful because when you're looking at a picture, you actually get, you know, a real representation of what's there because, you know, if you have, you know, some equipment lying around that's not in the rack or something like that, you can call that out sometimes as well. Um, I agree. And in this particular example, this was actually a, a middle revision. The final revision actually had things like um, frequencies and power voltages and things like that also uploaded in here. So in this blank space you've got over here, there was just some information about, um, you know, the power going into this rack and so on and, and some of the equipment and just general information somebody would look at um, whenever they're investigating some kind of alarm, right? So again, just kind of making it easier for people to have information you know, available. 